Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and join me as we dive into some gaming archaeology and we play Trajectile, also known as Reflect Missile. Apparently, Trajectile is a name it used in North America and outside North America. They call it Trajectile Missile. I call it gaming archaeology because, boy, is it really hard to play this game these days. Uh, I essentially had to download a special Nintendo DS emulator, uh, special DSi firmware. Don't tell Nintendo. They're very litigious. Um, and then uh, find this ROM. And it, it, I mean, it doesn't sound all that complicated. Get the emulator, get the BIOS, get the ROM. But the thing is, you can't get this game. You can't play it. It doesn't exist. It, it was a digital only download. Um, and it's one of those ones that if you want to play it, like literally going outside the law is the only way to do it. So, you know, there we go. I don't know. It's a, it's a ROM. It's a gray area. I say for historical purposes, uh, hopefully we can be granted a little leeway here today, but, uh, I've talked about this a lot on the channel. Downloadable only titles suck because they disappear and they're gone forever. Fun fact actually i have a folder of dsi uh games that i have saved because i think the dsi store is just defunct and many of the games that are came out in 2009 2010 you can't get there is a game i have in there that i am going to try my darndest to get working once i'm done playing here today called surviving high school it also came out on android back in the day and i found the android apk online um, but it requires an older version of Android and I haven't been able to set up a proper Android emulator So there was a Nintendo DS version, but the DS version might be encrypted and blah 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 It is a fantastically addictive and cute little uh, Adventure game that came out around 2009 produced by EA surprisingly and you cannot play this game today um and i really want to play it uh just because i remember playing it uh when i was in grad school actually i was playing it i i got on my phone and like me and like some colleagues some friends who were in the program we would like send messages to each other like oh i'm dating lisa now you know uh, we were playing our way through it it was hilarious um but yeah, fond memories of that one. Played it for a brief period of my life. You literally can't fucking play the game nowadays. Like, downloadable titles suck. <laughs> I will say it, guys. You know, the funny thing is, okay, I know I, I, I will get to the game here. But uh, so many indie games on Steam are downloadable only. But I feel like a PC game that's downloadable only is very different from like a Nintendo DS or an Android game because a PC game that's downloadable only, if the developer decides to stop selling it, once somebody has downloaded it, hackers can crack it. And once they've cracked it, it can be preserved for all time and everyone can play it, you know? Um, like one of my favorite games, I've talked about this over and over, Battletech, you know, the Crescent Hawk Inception and Revenge, those are two classic DOS games. Um, if not for hackers having cracked those games and put them up for people to download You literally wouldn't be able to play it today But because they've been cracked people will be able to play it almost till the end of time And those are two amazing games that I, I definitely recommend people check out So it's it's one of those things where like the more locked down a game uh, An operating system is the less good it is for gaming history and uh, unfortunately uh, Android, iOS, and Nintendo DS, and all these other downloadable systems that are all locked up by these companies. It's just a shame and a waste of games. I don't know. There are good games out there that literally people will just never play anyway. Enough ranting for today. Let's actually play this game. Uh, I guess we'll go into stage select here. I guess we have to play the tutorial. So, uh, I don't know what to expect for this one. Let's get started. Stick with it and you'll be a missile launching pro in no time. Okay. Um, touch the screen to adjust your trajectory. You'll often fire multiple missiles. Okay. Oh, I see. So you can sort of like aim where you want. Slide the slides left and right to adjust your aim and get it just right. Oh, I see. Oops, I didn't mean to... Hold steady to light up the trajectory line, then lift to launch. Okay, I totally didn't even mean to launch that. I think it's launching automatically. I'm not doing any of this. The goal is to destroy them all. That's why they're there. I feel like we could have figured this out ourselves. 
I know games... You know, I think tutorials have erred on the side of stupid these days. <laughs> Drillers can plow through up to seven blocks. That's cool. You know, back in the day, they just would have started a level where you have a couple blue ships and you just got to figure it out. And then a couple of green ships and you just got to figure it out, you know? And like, they would rely on the fact that gamers aren't stupid and they'd be able to figure stuff. And now it just feels insulting. These tutorials are, are reaching insulting levels. And by the way, we're still playing games from 2010. I shudder to think what a 2020 game is like these days. Frankly, I think they'd play the whole first level for you. First couple of levels, beat the boss, save your game. They don't want you to mess it up. They want you to enjoy yourself, you know? But, uh, I mean, this game does look pretty cool, actually. It's sort of like, um... Breakout. It's sort of like a modern version of Breakout. You guys remember Breakout? Um... I think that was like the second or third game we ever played on the channel. I remember I played Pong, then I think I played Oregon Trail, then I might have played Breakout, and then maybe Civilization, something like that. Those games are all some of the earliest games I ever played when I started my 1001 Quest. Oh look, a bo I'm not even really paying attention, but I get it. I've got it figured out. <laughs> I say that, but I'm going to screw everything up. But uh, yeah, I remember Breakout... And I remember specifically talking about how Breakout was co-developed with, uh... Was it Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak? Or were they just paid to port it or something to Atari? Or something like that. Some kind of weird history thing. And it was something where, like, uh, Steve Jobs didn't tell Steve Wozniak that he was getting paid to do it. Or he didn't tell him how much he was getting paid, so he totally stiffed Woz out of money. Uh, Steve Jobs was such an asshole. <laughs> I mean, hey, creative genius that revolutionized the world. Don't get me wrong, you know, like what he did, his achievements are actually astounding. Um, there's a great documentary, not or not a documentary, but sort of like a reenactment uh, thing called, um, oh, what is it called? Uh, Pirates of Silicon Valley. It's this really old, like, made-for-TV movie with uh, Anthony Michael Hall playing uh, Bill Gates and Noah, Steve Noah, Noah something, Noah White, ah, oh God, Noah somebody, and he plays uh, Steve Jobs, and they do an amazing job, and they show, like, all the, like, uh, ins and outs, and the, you know, the, the, the software piracy and stuff that, that, that Microsoft and Apple were engaged in, and stealing from Xerox, and all these, like, crazy real-life things that happened in the early days of Microsoft and Apple. And it's, it's pretty cool to see, I, I have to say. If you, if, if you can check it out, again, I don't even think you can watch this movie legitimately, so you're going to have to go and download it illegally. <laughs> like, oh, man, everything... What kind of sad state of the world is it where everything I love, you have to access illegally because it's so old that it just literally people have forgotten about it. Anyway, beat the first level. Piece of cake. Uh, but Pirates of Silicon Valley, um, if you're a nerd like me, it's sort of like uh, a dramatization meets a documentary, and it's about Bill Gates, uh, Steve Palmer, Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak. Um, it covers like the creation of Apple and Microsoft and when they worked together and how they became competitors and Xerox and all this good stuff. It's, it's a, a great little movie. I, I go back to it periodically over the years um i think i saw it originally when i was in like grade school or i might have been in like <laughs> grade seven or eight or something i don't know but oh shoot these are drillers that's right well that one was a big old waste hmm. figuring out the math here it, it just almost feels like pool meets breakout i don't know if that's gonna actually do anything oh it did Oh, I thought I was going to bounce back up and get that last one. Okay, we got a driller now. So we can go like... Wait, hold on. Do we want to just aim like right? Why don't we try and go like... Can I go like this? Because I think I can just bounce off this one, this inner one over here. Now I have a smasher. 
Mm, hold on. We can get it. Ah, oh, we got it. Kaboom! <laughs> Pretty fun. It also reminds me of there's that arcade game where you have to like shoot bubbles, like colored bubbles up. And if you make a collection of four or five, they explode. Um, it might even be a bubble bobble themed game, but it, it just reminds me of that essentially. Um, okay, this is just a bad angle all, all around. What can we do over here? Why don't we just see what this does? Not a lot. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. We almost got that thing. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna drill for this guy up here. There we go. To hopefully try and, like, launch something up there eventually. Okay. And then I guess we'll just do this. That's a freebie. We failed. We failed in our sacred mission we suck. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't realize the first, uh, it's also a bit of a puzzle game, actually. Didn't realize the first ship was, a, a buster guy. Okay, so... Interesting. Oh, we can see what's coming up, too. Okay, I guess we'll do this. Because I could see this guy's coming up. Oh, this is cool. I didn't notice this. All right, you can see what's coming up. Probably this tutorial mentioned it, but hey, look. I'm a gamer, man. We figure this shit out on our own. We don't rely on nobody. We don't rely on... on you know what tutorials are? That's communist gaming handouts. We don't rely on, on handouts. Real gamers earn what they get. Maybe if I go like this. Oh, <laughs> I was a little off. I was trying to get both of those. Okay, but I think now I've cleared the way. I can essentially do what I was trying to do. Like this. Wait, did that not work? What happened there? It's like rejected my plan. Go! Ah, oh, god damn it! That one survived. Okay. Let's see if this does anything. Ah! Okay, we got two more shots of this. Let's see, should we just go for? Oh wait! Oh, I yeah, ah, didn't mean to. Okay, whatever. I was gonna say, I didn't mean to let go there. We got one more driller. We just drill our way into this bad boy and call it a day. Yay! That level was actually pretty hard. Seven of seven turns. Probably have a terrible score. Whatever, we'll accept it. Okay, the red ones were bombs or something, as I recall. I actually don't- oh yeah, they seem to be bombs. Okay. What do I want to blow up is the question. Guess I'll blow up this thing. Wee kaboom! That's actually pretty satisfying. Okay, and then I'll try and like launch this guy up here and just hope he does some damage. Ah! One more bounce would have done it, I think. Alright. You know it's funny? I want to click on the whole screen, but only the bottom part's clickable. Because it's a Nintendo DS game, obviously. Hmm. You know, getting that one guy in there is actually trickier than it seems. Okay, why don't we... What if we do this? See, I want to click up here, but you can't. You gotta click down here. Again, because it's Nintendo DS. Go for that. Oh. Try it again. Do it. Ah! Oh. oh, but we got that thing. Oh, come on! No! Ah. <laughs> we just danced around that one. 
All right, this time we got two. Is it just like... We got that, right? Oh, no, we missed! All right, well, this is... A sure thing. There we go. We did it! Huzzah! Next. I shudder to think what the gold levels are like, because these are, like, actually pretty hard. We keep just barely doing it. So it's interesting when you are launching two ships at once, because it's like, how do you make effective use of both? I think I kind of want to, like, go, like, way off the grid here. Like, I don't know if this is worthwhile. I didn't take any of them out, but I, like, cleared the way? I don't know, was that useful? Hard to tell. Right, I'm just gonna try and double bomb my way to victory. Okay, now that we've kind of cleared things up a bit. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's try... Hmm. Maybe I'll try and get this guy in here. Yeah, it's a good time to do that. Okay, I think we got this. Oh, I gotta click here, that's right. I'll go like this. Bonk. And then we just get this last guy. Oh, actually, we cleared it uh, one ship ahead of time. We actually did better than we had been doing in the past. There you go. Six of seven turns. Not bad. Not bad. Try getting a medal on every stage. Shut up. Shut up, game. Don't tell me how to play. Don't insult me. Pretend like you're, you're saying I'm doing well, but really I'm doing garbage. Um, okay, let's try like a level 30. Oh, these are all bronze. Is there any way to select? Ah, uh, you need six, clear six more stages to unlock the next class. Okay, well, I just want to see what the hardest level looks like. We'll do the other six stages because I do want to see like what the next level's like. Double item block. Hit these to get double items. These are, use double items to double your missiles for one turn. Oh, that's cool. There's probably a bunch of power-ups eventually. Okay, so... Thing is... Like, it's tempting to get these guys, but I feel like that's... there... to lead you astray. There we go. Okay, so now whenever I want, I can double my dudes. Let's just do this. Yee-haw! That did absolutely nothing. Oh, we got one guy out of that, and this guy's like... just failed at life. He just comes bouncing back, totally useless. Didn't do anything. Okay, see, the problem is... kinda want both guys to get up in there and bounce around and do stuff. Oh, guys. You are failing at life. Get that one guy at least. Oh my god, he just blew himself up before he even got there. This is embarrassing, dudes. Okay, hold on. What if we do this? Oh, look at this. And it's not even gonna matter. It's not even gonna help us. All those ships. Oh, we sailed right through them. Okay, hold on. How do we retry this level? Because <laughs> we totally screwed this one up. Okay. I think there's no rush to get that times two. Okay, I like this because it clears two of the guys away and then blows up. There we go. There we go. Okay, I think that's a better position to be in. Now we can focus on just, like... 
getting up here and doing some damage. So no matter what I do, like one ship is just screwed. All right, so we're just gonna let one go. Oh, maybe I'll get the times two. Oh, I did. Oh, that one ship was very useful. The other one was total trash. Okay, and then we'll kind of bounce around in here. Okay. I think we only need to send one ship in there, and then I think we got it. So we'll kind of try and get this one in here. Oh my god! can't believe you guys missed it. Uh oh We might actually not pass this. Okay, I'm gonna double my ships. <laughs> okay, that has to succeed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a concerted effort, like five ships zeroed in on one target. Alright, new record. It's fun to set records when there literally is no record. It just means you're always, you're always number one. But I mean, it's as easy to set a record when there is literally no standard. No one to compete against. Are we back on level one? Hold on a second here. Yeah, we're on bronze one. At this stage. Yeah, I don't want to do this again. I do kind of want to earn more medals now that I see them. It's like an odd gamer thing where it's like, I do actually kind of want those. All right, all right. Let's get this stuff here. Boink. There's one. Getting more than one per ship is the key, but I just don't know how to... Seems like it would take, like, a superhuman level of planning, which I do not possess. Get it? Yes! If I'm getting one per ship, I consider it a good run. Okay, that should get that. Yes! Okay, we're on turn four, though. We're really no, not close to being done here. I guess we'll get the times two and just hope this all works out somehow. Ah! Oh. All right, we're gonna have to use this times two thing and just go nuts. I think this will definitely get both of them. Hold on. Go! I think that one ship got them both, actually. Like how all the uh, blocks explode in a little firework display when you pass the level. It's very satisfying. Tickles my brain. In the most pleasant way possible. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ugh. I'm like holding my breath as I like try and like, oh, it's, this is actually anxiety producing. Do you guys ever, you know, like when you're trying to like move the mouse or your hand just a tiny bit and you kind of like hold your breath? Like I can't get it on the thing. Okay, let's forget that angle then I guess. Okay, hold on. I want these both to end up up, up there. Oh man, it's really actually stressing me out. I can get the block right below for the one several above. Okay, fuck it. Let's just do this. That was so frustrating. Oh man, like I literally have a little anxiety because of that right now. Oh, that's so stressful. Okay, I mean, that's obvious that you're supposed to do that. Okay, I think from here we can just probably bounce off one guy and get them both? I don't know. Almost. Yes! <laughs> hey, we did real good. Three of five turns. That's actually, that is a new record for us. We earned a medal. So I think as long as you are below the maximum, you get a medal. I feel like three out of five should earn two medals. No? Like, because that's actually really good. 
all things considered. Right, we're still in bronze class. Let's blow some shit up. Looks good. Hiya! Ah, kaboom! Missiles away, boys! There's probably an optimal strategy every time, and I'm sure I don't do it. Boink, boink. Shit. That didn't do. That didn't do jack! Um. Okay, I guess I'll just blow this to. Blow this to hell. I do kind of like the rocket guys, they, they are satisfying. So the only thing I wish you could do in the multi-rocket one is, like, aim different rockets at different places. Because it usually... Usually just what happens is most of your rockets just... Like, that guy just fired right back and didn't go anywhere. In order to get more than one of them bouncing around, I actually had to, like, sacrifice one. You know what I mean? Alright, let's, uh... Try and take care of this thing. So you just sacrifice that one guy. He's just gone. Um, and then I think we can just beeline it for this guy. Still get a medal. Yeah, it, it sort of feels weird like I'm wasting rockets when it's like I've got three rockets, but I'm only lining up one and the other two are just bouncing back immediately. But I mean, I guess that's what you have to do. Because many of the multi-rockets are just totally useless. Okay, we're earning some more medals, so I'm getting a little better, I think. Or the levels are... oscillating between difficult and easy, and I just got a run of easy ones. I like to think that I'm getting better. So don't... don't ruin my party. My parte. Okay... Thinking... I'm thinking this through, so here's... Like, here's my, my thought. I can hit this bomb at any point and blow that one up. I don't know why that bomb's there. This guy's hard to get. This guy could be gotten with a ricochet. This guy could be gotten with a ricochet. So, so could this guy. So what I gotta do is blow this guy up. That is mission one. Okay, now from here, I just gotta make the decision of, like, who to ricochet and when. I have another bomb coming up, so that's good. I'm gonna see if I can do this and maybe get a twofer. Ah, oh, a little more. I want him to kind of bounce over there. Okay, so... I'm gonna blow this guy up too. Straight up get him out of the way. Because then I got a couple rounds of bouncy guys and I think I can make this work. Like, for instance... I really want to, like, hit this bomb and double it up. Mm, oh, he's just about to explode. Oh, that was so close. I almost had that, man. All right, no metal, but whatever. We did it within the specified parameters. Bronze class. Returns. Okay. You know where the doubling up would really help is rockets. Doubling up on rocket guys I could see being very useful. Oh my god, I can't believe we didn't hit that guy. That was my whole- that's why I did what I did. I thought it was a sure thing. And now we're really screwed though, because we only have like one more turn. It's actually kind of a crazy level. Can't believe we didn't get the two for one! Because <laughs> now we really are screwed. Interesting. I don't think there's any way to do this. Nope. Alright, let's try this again. Whoops. want to retry this. Yes. Okay. Maybe getting that two for one is like really important. Like maybe you should do this initially. 
Now the question is, when do we want to double up? Okay, I think you do want to do this. Ah, shit. Oh man, this one guy almost could do it, but he's totally... Uh, if he had a bit more time... Okay, and now we've just lost. Like, there's just no way to do this. Let's just... Let's just have some fun with it. Why not? Get them all up there. See what happens. Oh, well, you know, for a second there, I thought maybe we might actually do it, but... Oop. Okay, I don't- I don't want to, like, fiddle around with this one forever. That's what we in the biz call a crap level. Let's just go on. Maybe the red ones are hard. Maybe the red ones are, like, challenging ones? I don't know. That one did seem very difficult. Um, okay. What the? Sometimes it doesn't launch. I guess you gotta wait for it to, like, uh... Light up green. If it's gray, it means cancel. You know what the Nintendo DS reminds me of? Is, uh... Early Commodore 64 games. The joysticks all had one button. And so, uh... They would have to figure out... You know, if you're pressing up and you press one button, it does one thing. But if you're pre not pressing any direction, you press one button, it does something else. You know, like, they had to sort of play this, this funny game with, uh... Um, with the buttons to try and make that one button really count. I feel like Nintendo DS is like the exact same because it's like you've only got one click and you don't even have a click. You just are touching the, uh, there we go. You're just touching the screen. So it's like, how do you make one touch count in multiple ways? So when you, I'm dragging across, if I pause for a second, the path lights up in a color. And then if I let go, it launches. But if I move again and let go, uh, when it's as soon as you move it, it becomes gray, and if you let go when it's gray, then it doesn't launch. So it's like very subtle manipulation of that one screen touch. Uh, because uh, new class unlocked top notch shooting, um, very subtle manipulation because they literally only have one button. It's the same sort of problem they had with, uh, you know, um. The original Amiga and Commodore 64 game. Not a problem per se, but you guys know what I mean. It's it's sort of like like I really prefer playing games with a mouse, obviously. I'm a PC gamer and DOS gamer and stuff originally. I mean I also like controllers, did a lot of Super Nintendo and stuff like that, but I like having more than one button. And and like one thing that always drives me crazy or drove me crazy as a kid were Mac computers. You know, speaking of Steve Jobs, and only having like one button the like left click because i always wanted a right click too and it, it, it's so useful to have multi-click features you know to only have one click is actually very limiting that was a pretty sweet i didn't actually think i'd get a dude that was quite handy and effective yeah i guess i'll do this no, that was a total waste. Oh shit, that was terrible. Oh, that sucked. Okay, I mean, I guess I'll just do this. For no reason. I think we're not passing this one. In fact, I don't even know how you would pass this one. That, I don't know why I did that. That really did absolutely nothing. <laughs> ah, well, we've lost. Yeehaw! One more bomb for the road. Oh, it actually was in range of one of those guys. Uh, I'm gonna skip this level. Let's just do one more here. I know we are in the silver, and clearly levels are getting a little more difficult. But I just wanted to sort of see where they went. In terms of challenge. Can you blow up these platforms or no? Oh, you literally can't. Huh. Oh man, my- you know what? I think it's good that we quit around now because my brain just literally- I don't even know where to shoot these things. Shooting two at once, like which one do you go for? One is just always wasted. 
I always feel like I just at least want to get them both in the mix. I want them to both bounce around and do something, but it's often not the right choice. So yeah, we're dead. This is definitely it. I'm totally flubbing this level, but... Reflect Missile here is one of the games in the book. A thousand video games you just play before you die. You know what? I actually like this game. Um, kind of a cool puzzle game. Mix of sort of Breakout. Um, but it's almost more of a, a puzzle game than Breakout. Um, I like... The controls are pretty easy. Uh, cool power-ups and stuff. And um, I like the sort of... We, we didn't talk about it, but I like the sort of retro style of it. How it's sort of like... It feels like an old arcade with really like big CRT pixels and stuff. So I think there's a lot to like here. I think it's a crying shame you cannot play this game anymore. I mean, unless you want to go download an emulator and be like me. Um, but it's... It's one of those games that... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe you can download it on, like, the Wii U store or something. Wait, the Wii, the Wii U's gone. The Switch store? I don't know. Whatever digital store isn't out of business right now, maybe you can go download it for a limited time, and then that one will be out of business in a few years, and we, we'll be back to nothing. But, uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe there is no legitimate way to play this, which is a sad, disappointing truth. Um, seems like a cool game. I had fun with it here today. You know, it's not it's not the best game I ever played, but in terms of like sort of a a mix of like kind of an old arcade game meets a puzzle game. You know, I I could see this game, you know, back in the day I could have seen this made in like the 80s as a puzzle game and seen something like this played in the arcades. Like there's nothing here mechanic-wise that couldn't have existed in the year like 1988 or 89, you know. I could have seen this as an arcade game. Not, and that's not a slight against the game. It just means that I like the style. I dig the style. It's very retro. It's very cool. It's a shame that this is the only way to play it. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Did you play this game back in the day? Did you have fun with it? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, did you call it Trajectile or Reflect Missile? Reflect Missile sounds like a cooler name to me, but I guess it's Trajectile, um, which... <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with the name, but it makes me think of trajectile difficulties. Um, so, you know, I mean, you guys, my mind goes places. Guys, I hope you had fun checking this one out here today. I hope my rants entertained and amused you. If that is the case, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. And other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Peace.